Hey guys, and welcome to an original if we try this production. Today I'll be doing my C++ tutorial number 17, teaching you about using function parameters with multiple source code files in C++. So, my compiler of choice right now is WXDev C++. It's a pretty good compiler, but if you're using Visual, Microsoft Visual C++, you have to add this line of code, include stdafx.h, or pound, include stdafx.h everything I just highlighted including the quotation marks so in this tutorial we'll be creating two separate source code files one will have the actual function that we create and one will have the the function input and the with the function parameter in the beginning so what we want to do we want to go to our project inspector which is right here and or if you're using a separate source code file, you just have to add it, find a way to add a new file. And I'm going to rename it. Let's see where's the rename function. Rename, rename, rename. Uh, oh, right click on it and press rename. I want to rename it main2. Now you have to add .cpp at the end. My compiler does it automatically. We have to call it main2.cpp. So now you just want to copy all, all of this the include files and using namespace std you want to copy it all and you want to paste it into the set into the second source code file oh i'm sorry my cursor is invisible i forgot to turn that off so in our separate source code file we're going to make a candy function that tells us how much candy we have so we're going to put void we're going to void the function void candy open parentheses int candy count oh wait I misspelled candy my mistake go back and change it candy there we go and candy count closing parentheses enter then a le le left bracket now we're going to make it really really simple first we're going to put c out c o u t two left carrots as I call them space they're gonna put quotation marks I have space quotation marks again you're gonna put two more left carrots then we're gonna put the input which is candy count so two more left carrots and candy count the space two more left carrots now I'm gonna put another space quotation marks another space pieces of candy yeah pieces of candy period quotation marks space two more left carrots and then end L now I'm gonna put the left right bracket and that's all we really need in this source code file so we'll, all the next thing we have to do or to make it simpler we can just copy the function that we created just copy it into the next source code file into the main copied above the main control V void can and then add a semicolon at the end that makes it a function prototype so now we can create the actual function which is called candy so I put candy open parentheses 30 so we have 30 pieces of candy closing parentheses semicolon and we're pretty much done now so um what we have to do now so basically what it'll do when it reads the actual function when it reads the function prototype when the compiler reads the function prototype, it'll tell the it'll what it'll do is it'll go to the function prototype will tell the compiler to go to to go find the actual function which is located in the main two or a second source code file and then it'll read it and continue on. So this is an easy way to stay organized, make it more neater. So this is what it actually looks like. I have thirty pieces of candy. There we go. As I said earlier, my compiler automatically renames it main2.cpp. So to do, you have to put .cpp at the end for it to work. So it's like, right click on it, rename file, then add the .cpp part at the end. .cpp. Right there. And then it should work. I have 30 pieces of candy. Put something less. I like having more candy than you. Well, this has been an original retry this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget.